Hey everyone, today's video, we're going to talk about title insurance. What is it and why is it important? So what is title insurance exactly? Title insurance is a form of indemnity insurance and that protects lenders and home buyers from financial loss sustained from defects in title to a property. The term indemnity insurance refers to an insurance policy that compensates an insured party for certain unexpected damages or losses up to a certain limit usually the amount of the loss itself. So basically, all owner's insurance is, is protection for you on the title of your property you're buying from the time in the past, not in the future, but the past, which is different than what we're used to with insurance. Title insurance protects both lenders and home buyers against loss or damage occurring from liens, encumbrances, or defects in the title or actual ownership of a property. Unlike traditional insurance, which protects against future events, title insurance protects against claims for past occurrences. And a basic owner's title insurance policy is typically going to cover the following hazards. Ownership by another party, incorrect signatures on documents as well as forgery and fraud, flawed records, restrictive covenants, or encumbrances or judgments against the property, such as outstanding lawsuits or liens. So title companies, they have to do a title search in order to check for claims or liens of any kind against the property before the title policy can be issued. So what will happen is, once your contract goes to the title company, your title agent is gonna order the title search. That's a, generally a three to five day turnaround. It just depends on how busy they are. I know under these crazy market conditions we're under right now with more home sales going on, I know they're a little bit busier, but generally three to five days is all it takes and your title company will have back your actual lien search, your title search, that will show them everything they need to clear to get you the title policy. So you gotta remember, a title search must be ordered and it's the first thing they're gonna do. And the title search is an examination of public records to determine and confirm a property's legal ownership and to find out whether there are any claims are on the property. And this is really big. And here's an example I'm gonna show you real quick, um, briefly, this one, what it looks like. Uh, and you'll see here, basically the requirements that they're wanting to be resolved before they're going to give you a clear, you know, clear, clean uh, title policy. In other words, you're not going to get clear title until all this stuff on here is rectified and cleaned up. Now, majority of everything on here is standard stuff just involved with a traditional, typical real estate closing. Um, most deals won't have liens. Most deals won't have anything that's negative. It'll all be stuff that's easily rectified by the title agent. Now there's really two different types of insurance and it's really simple. You've got the lender's policy and you've got the owner's policy. The lender's policy protects the lender and the owner's policy protects you, the buyer. If you're financing and getting a mortgage, you're going to be required to have a lender's policy. If you're paying cash, you won't, so that won't be a cost. And the lender's policy is not near as, um, as cost, costly as the owner's policy. And what they'll do is they'll do a simultaneous issue well, they'll do them both at the same time and you get a little bit of a discount. Um, but the lender's policy is much cheaper than the owner's policy. And the owner's policy is what you're going to have on every closing. And the lender's policy is what you're going to have on a finance bank closing that protects the lender. So the lender's going to require it. They won't close without it. And it's just mandatory. So just to wrap up, some of the common issues we see, you got title forgeries. One of the big ones is back taxes. Uh, another one, especially dealing with foreclosures, is filing errors. I see these all the time. Generally, these are fixed, you know, in a short amount of period of time. Unknown heirs to the estate who claim ownership, inconsistent or conflicting wills, undocumented easements, liens commonly from unpaid home equity lines, or contractor bills. Um, contractor bills actually do come up a lot. Um, what they used to do, I don't know if they even still do it, but years ago when I was building my house, the cement companies that poured the slab, as soon as they poured the slab, they would immediately put a lien on the house for the amount they were owed from the builder. They did this on every property. And generally, once they're paid, they just you know release it and the you know the lien is you know wiped out and it gets gone. But sometimes they forget, like in my case, and years later when I went to refinance and we had to have title work, they found the lien from the con uh, from the uh, concrete company. A you know, simple phone call and it was rectified. But point is, you'll see those a lot. Back taxes come up a lot. Uh, filing errors come up a lot. I have seen a couple issues 
with unknown heirs to the estate and I'll do another video on this because it's really interesting actually and it's more on how easily it is to cloud the title of a property um, if you have interest in a, in a property and it's documented that you have interest in a property you can easily cloud the title and the seller will not be able to sell the property and I'll show you an example of that in another video anyway I hope that was um, educational really quick video title insurance is pretty simple um, don't even think about it being something that you can waive and not pay for and not have. After 20 years in the business, I've never done a real estate transaction without title insurance. Never. Nor would I. It, the cost is cheap compared to you know the risk. And, and nowadays, with the, the number of sales and things going on with the real estate market, I would never, ever, ever buy a property without having it. Now remember, this is key. That's a negotiable cost at closing. Who pays for the owner's title policy? It's all negotiable. Uh, in this market, a lot of buyers are paying for it because they want to have a more competitive offer to their sellers. You got to remember, it doesn't really matter who pays for it as long as you have it and as long as it's negotiated. But remember, typically how it works here in Florida, whoever pays for it generally chooses and picks the title company. So if you're a buyer and you love this particular title company or this attorney you know or something, you know, that for some reason there's somebody you really want to utilize, then you're going to have to pay for it. And it's really, in my opinion, it's a buyer's cost anyway, or it should be because, you know, it protects the buyers. It doesn't protect the sellers. It's something the buyers will have and keep. But the way it works, whoever pays for it chooses the title company. So if you let the seller um, choose it and they pick a company you don't like, they're paying for it. So you have no say so in the matter. But like I said, remember, that's a total negotiable cost. All right. Hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'm going to do some more videos um, really concerning title insurance. With some, you know, We're going to go a little bit deeper. But hope this gives you a good understanding of just the basics. It's very, very simple. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.